I've had a few questions about my technique, specifically how do I do my three colored marbled pours. So let's get right into it. Now first we need to set the scene and the mood. We never want to just jump into this without giving ourselves a little warm up. Give it a little thought, a little tease and take care of yourself and your silicone. Set up your silicone and your pigments and make a plan. We need to be ready to bring this all together at the last moment for that perfect pour. To start, I mix up my silicone. In this case, I'm going to mix everything that I need all at once. I do this for a few reasons, but mainly by mixing it all at once, I know that all of my colors are going to cure at exactly the same time. If I were to mix them separately, the first color would probably finish before the other colors, and no one wants to finish too fast. Now scrape the sides, the bottom, and work it really good. It's okay to go faster if you need to, really whip it back and forth. I'm going to section off what I need for each color. Starting with 240 grams of silicone, I'm going to split this into three cups of 80 grams each. Now we need to develop a plan for our colors and which color will go into each cup. Pick a color to wrap around the base. This will go into the big cup and the other colors go into the other cups. Since our silicone is already mixed, all we need to do is incorporate our pigments into the silicone. Now check and make sure that there aren't any chunks of pigment in the silicone. In the end, we want it to be super smooth and slick. We've got lots of bubbles, but no chunks, so that's just perfect. Now we're going to use the vacuum chamber to pull all of that air out of the silicone. Once we've seen the silicone rise, collapse, and stop bubbling, we're good to move on. Using our big cup as our base, we're going to add our other two colors on top, creating a bullseye, a target, if you will. Keep in mind the second color is going to be the highlight, and the third color is going to be the tip. This is what I ended up with. The center color is going to rush to the front, while the outside color is going to end up primarily at the base. The middle color will be a highlight between the other two and swirl around the base. Alright, we're going to set that to the side and let it cure. Now here's a little pro tip for you. Always keep your cups with your mold. That way we can check the curing process without disturbing the mold and we can do some troubleshooting if we need to. And now it's time to demold. We'll break it loose and then pop it out of the mold. It might take a few pulls, but eventually it'll come out with a pop. And here's what we ended up with. We've got green at the tip, purple at the base, and the white provides a little splash of definition. And so that's how I pour marbles. If you'd like to learn how I make my molds, you should totally check out this video. And with that, I am spent, and I'll catch you in the next video.